Hi, what's up? Uh, so it's no script and today I'm going to show you some more prepping items that I bought. Uh, so I'm quite excited about that. And I will get that ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the things I've bought, um, I got all of these in IGA. They were having a bit of a sale on some things. So I bought some Ziploc bags. Um, I got the storage bags, so it's 50 in there. Um, I think I paid a dollar 29 for these. Uh, these ones are 24 medium storage bags. And I got uh, 14 large Ziploc bags. So they were all the same price. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, I bought some just the home brand foil, so that'll be really handy. Now I bought these little mini toasts, they have a year life on them, um, so they'll be great for putting in with um, your soup or um, any little stock pot things, um, yeah you, you can nibble on those. Um, so they'll be handy. They were only, I think they were 97 cents. I got some crunchy fried noodles. So if you were cooking up, again, if you were cooking up like a stock pot thing, um, a stock pot type canned meal, uh, vegetables, anything like that. And you can have these. Uh, where did it say? Okay, give dishes an extra crunchy Asian taste. Add to soups, salads, stir fries or serve with your favourite dip. So, yeah, anything that you're cooking over a little uh, stove, campfire, um, you could chuck that in for a bit of extra flavour. Um, Nutritional wise, uh, let's have a look. So, per serving is energy 547. I'm finding it really hard to read this, so small 547 kilojoules, maybe. Yeah, okay, it's, sorry guys, I can't read it. Sorry, non-readable. All right, so I also bought a bag of dried mushrooms. So these have, um, let's see, use by date on this. Okay, so these have a year and a half life shelf, so, um, where is it? 20th of the 11th. Can't see if you can see that. 2020. So that was a great buy. And they were only, I think they were $2. Um, I got another two packs of the crunchy fried noodles. Uh, so I got a box of matches. Uh, safety matches. There's 10 boxes in there. I got another packet of baby wipes. Uh, these ones are cucumber and aloe. All right, a box of tissues. I think my daughter stuck that in there. All right, so I got a cracker mix. Um. Flavorful spices contrast with a delicious mix of wholesome crunchy nibbles, mini rice crackers, garden peas, peanuts, chickpeas, and sultanas. So protein is five grams per serving. 
no artificial colours, no flavours, artificial flavours or preservatives. Uh, they are gluten free. Now, let's have a look on the back. So these are good for a year. Um, Alright, so they're saying here that there's 6.6 .6 servings per packet. So going on a... 100 gram serving uh, energy oh hang on no sorry average quantity per serving uh, energy is 566 kilojoules 135 calories uh, protein total is 5 grams gluten none fat total 5.8 grams Saturated fats is 0 0.6 grams. Trans fat is nothing. Polyunsaturated is 0 0.5 grams. Monounsaturated 4.5 grams. Cholesterol is 0. Carbohydrate sugars. Oh, sorry, no. Carbohydrates is 15.6 grams. Sugars, 2.2 grams. Dietary fiber. 1.9 gram and sodium is 183 milligrams so yeah but anyway um you can keep them like this or you can mix them up a bit more and add some other bits and pieces to it like chocolates <laughs> smarties um yeah whatever you want so yeah that's the cracker mix this one is the original mix um, so again, it's, it's probably about the same. No, it's not. Total fats in this one is 7.9 grams, whereas in the cracker mix, it's 5.8. Energy is a bit higher. It's 605 kilojoules in the original mix. Uh, 566 kilojoules in the cracker mix. Uh, sodium is slightly lower at 174 milligrams in the original mix compared to 183 in the cracker mix. So, but anyway, um, and then I got another two packs. These ones are just the home brand ones. So these were 99 cents a pack of five. Uh, so, yeah, two more packets of the noodles. And then I bought the Singapore style noodles. Um, so there's two packets, two packets in this one pack. Um, so you can just heat them up uh, in a, a bit of water. Um, add some of your dried mushrooms. Uh, some canned vegetables, whatever you like, uh, little flavour sachets if you have any. Um, yeah, and these contain gluten. Nutritional value, let's have a look. Okay, so they're saying that there's four servings per pack. So I don't know if that means per like, I don't know if that means four servings per entire pack or four servings for each pack inside. So, as they're two packs, um, I don't know if that means there's eight servings in this bag. I don't know. Uh, so, let's have a look. Um, per serve, energy is 479 kilojoules, 114 calories. Protein is 5.3 grams. Fat total is 0 0.7 grams. Saturated 0 0.1 gram. Carbohydrate 21.5 grams. Sugars 0 0.3 grams. And sodium 35 milligrams. So I'm guessing that that's a low count for sodium. Um... Yeah, so these 
have again these have got a year and a half um, life shelf life on them um, yeah and we eat these so um, yeah that you know everything I buy will get eaten if it's you know coming towards the end of the use by date or if we can't shop for whatever reason um, you know these will get pulled out along with the mushrooms and, and other things. So, but anyway, that's all I bought. Um, I think that'll come to... They come to about $26, I think. So, you know, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that, that's my update for my prepper box at this point in time. Um, now I'm going to make uh, a corned beef and tomato sauce sandwich. I know it sounds ridiculous um, but yes I mentioned in my video that uh, I like to mix up like mash up the corned beef, um, add tomato sauce into it, mix it up and put it in a sandwich. Um, it probably looks a little bit like cat food, <laughs> um, but it's actually really quite good. So uh, I don't eat it all the time, but it is something that as soon as I have a can of corned beef in my cupboard, uh, straight into it. So yeah, all right, so I will be back. Okay, and something else is uh, for Mother's Day, um, my daughter bought me this big thermos flask it's two liter so like it's genuine thermos um, it stays hot for 24 hours and cold for 24 hours so it's brilliant um, yeah now this is going to be really handy not only for our long drives and things um, but you know in a survival situation you could boil up you know plenty of water um, and put it in here uh, therefore you've got hot water on hand um, and as I said it holds two litres uh, also you would be able to um, collect water in this if you wanted to uh, and then use it through your filtration system so um, yeah really really handy and my daughter has baby thermos uh, which I bought her for um, a present a couple of years back um, she uses it all the time for hot food for school and things like that so yeah keep keep that in mind that you may want to have something um, like this it doesn't have to be thermos I have had cheaper ones in the past um, yeah and it might keep it really hot for maybe a couple of hours uh, and then you're basically done. It's just like lukewarm. So Yeah, just thought I would give you guys a you know Bit of a thumbs up on that Also, uh, the big one of the Thermos brand comes with a, a carry handle as well. So, you know, that's really quite handy Okay, so I hope you can see okay now I have the corned beef so we're just gonna try and open that um, sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't so let's just see if we can get this started and away we go so you just need your bread obviously um, corned beef margarine or butter whichever you prefer tomato sauce uh, a bowl to mix it in, a fork to mash it, and um, once it's all done, you just stick it on your bread and enjoy. Now, you can put salad with this as well if you want. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get this. All right. So, now I'm going to... Um, just put okay so I'm back I've just taken out of the can what it is that I want uh, the rest I've put into a container just to stick into the fridge so yeah you just 
mash it up like this. It is fairly dry. Yeah, sorry about the noise. I've put a towel underneath just to try and block out that noise. Um, so yeah, just kind of mash it up like that. Now you can add salt and pepper to it if you like, which I definitely will because I love my um, pepper particularly. Uh, salt I need for health reasons. Um, okay, so you just mash it like that, give your sauce a shake, squirt it in, and then just mix it in. So you mix it into like almost like a bit of a pasty thing. You give it a taste test along the way because you might want more sauce or less sauce. This is great for kids. Um, kids always seem to really like this. And as you know, like corned beef, um, you can stick that into all sorts of things that you're cooking, um, you know, in survival mode or at home. So, yeah, I'm going to just put in a little bit more sauce. Just mix it in. As I said, it does, you know, look a bit like um, cat food. But believe me, it tastes really good. I think too, you know, like your better brands of um, corned beef obviously taste better. But if you're on a very low budget, don't worry about it. As long as you're eating. Um, and it's it's got the nutritional stuff that you need. That's all that really matters. Because at the end of the day... When you're in survival mode, you're going to be eating stuff that you don't like. And you're going to have to, you know, maybe kill some animals as well, which, you know, that's going to be heartbreaking. Uh, I don't know that I can do it, but at the end of the day, what choice do you have? Okay, so I'm going to butter my bread. Right, so I've added my pepper into this. Um, I didn't put any salt in it this time. Um, anyway, so now we're ready to put it on our sandwich. I like lots on mine. I mean, obviously, if you're in survival mode, you wouldn't be so generous. Then again, depending on the weather, you might have to eat it all in one go. <laughs> so, because you definitely wouldn't want it to go off. But then if you've got good sealed containers, um, you know, and you had a, a river nearby, you would be able to see the containers in a tub or something with um, some water from the river just to try help keep it cool or, you know, bury it in the ground, whatever. So... That's it, like that, nice and thick, put your top on it, this is pretty lousy bread, and then of course, cut it. Now I have mine in two pieces. Just like that. Um, so yeah, give it a try. See what you think. And um, that's all for this video. So yeah, take care. Except I had to have my little birdie. So here's Minnie. Minnie is here on the right. This one's Minnie. And this one here is Moses. Come on darling. And they're running away. Oh, she's up there. All right, where are you, Pebbles? There's Pebbles. Hi, darling. Hi, beautiful girl. And Sunny is just in here. Hi, Sunny. Hi, darling. Hi, beautiful boy. Hello. Yes, you can come out in a minute. No, no. Oh, all right. Oh, now Pebbles is coming as well. Come on, Pebs. Good girl. There we go. All right. So, yeah. 
Have a really good day everyone. Um, get those prepper boxes ready and uh, yeah you just don't know when you're going to need them. Alright I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give me a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button and um, keep your eye open for some more videos coming up soon. Thank you. Bye.